Ladies and gentlemen, we got brand new news from the developers of Valorant talking about changes to Valorant the ranked mode as well as information on specific ways that you can get better performance in the game. So make sure you watch it to the end. And if you like Valorant content, do us a huge favor, smash that sub button. But without further ado, let's just jump right into it, shall we? So firstly, to catch you up to speed, Valorant is for releasing June 2nd. Now the closed beta will actually be ending tonight, May 28th. So make sure you grind hard until then. And if you just missed out, keep in mind that the full game is indeed releasing on June 2nd, so you're not gonna have to wait too long. Now, to give you a small refresher, remember that Ranked MMR gets completely reset. However, Ranked will not be playable for two whole weeks minimum. And I know this might be a little bit sad for some of you, but on the bright side, we're going to be getting a brand new map, which has been confirmed to be Venice. And on top of that, we're going to get a dynamic new game mode that is hopefully going to keep us preoccupied in the meantime, waiting for the Ranked mode to come out. So speaking about major Valorant rank changes, we got to talk about some things that the Valorant senior designer Sopinski claimed. I hope I got that right. Sopinski? Sopinski? I don't, I don't know. I hope I don't mess up his name. But if I do, I'm sure that you're going to tell me in the comments down below. So Sopinski talked about the name Valorant as the maximum rank in the game of Valorant. And he thought it would be something cool, something that you kind of reach to and become the Valorant rank in the game of Valorant, which honestly has not connected with the rest of the community. They thought it was a good idea at the time, but honestly, it turned out to not really connect with the majority of us. So they're definitely going to be changing at least the Valorant name, and they might be changing more of the names going forward. Now, there's all kinds of different possibilities, things like Challenger taking inspiration from Riot's other IP, League of Legends. But honestly, I'm really interested in your take. Do you think that the majority of the ranks in Valorant should be changed? And if you could rename the final rank to whatever you want, what would you name the max rank? Let me know in the comments down below. Now on top of this, Zapinski continued to talk about some of the complaints with players like Defran and other players talking about the rank system and how at the highest ranks of play, the ranks doesn't really matter that much anymore because there's no way to track. There's no top 500 or anything like that that really gives you any sort of reward in order to actually show you you're improving or you're doing better or you're better than your average person. Zapinski said this quote, as for showing specific ratings for top players, this is something that we have discussed a lot and will eventually be part of Valorant's competitive ecosystem. So basically as a TLDR, they're changing the Valorant rank system to a different name at the very least, as well as possible other rank changes. And on top of that, they're going to be adding in at least some sort of top ranking system to give people some sort of recognition, depending on how much better they are than other players around their rank. So that will be really good, at least for the highest level of play. It gives them an incentive to grind, and it's more entertaining for us to see the top players at the game compete for those top spots. Now moving on to the next important bit of news, we got to talk about NVIDIA. And NVIDIA just released a brand new driver with Valorant support, which could help improve some of the performance issues, but further testing has not been done because it just came out. But at the very least, it's nice that NVIDIA actually has support for the game. And this is so important because the performance in Valor is frankly atrocious at times for such a low power game. There's not a lot going on in this game compared to a lot of games. For example, my middle of the pack rig maxes out 144 FPS when playing Overwatch, but it massively flutters from 90 FPS to 180 FPS in Valorant, which is not only inconsistent, but with a game that shouldn't take that much processing power, it really is struggling. This seems to be a problem in development where they actually put more emphasis on lower tier computers and it has a lot to do with cores and things like that but i'm not going to get too into that what you need to understand right now is there's a lot that riot specifically needs to do to fully fix this problem and then afterwards this driver will only be in addition to that but right now it's in Valorant's court to fix all these issues now lastly before we end the news section i wanted to ask you the viewer besides bug fixes i want to know what your biggest suggestion for something that you could change in the game whether it's a map or hero change or just something fundamental about the game that you could change besides a bug, what would you change and why? Please let me know in the comments down below. Personally, for me, I would love them to make it so that there is a decreased accuracy massively when on the zip lines on split. I think it's completely busted how accurate you could be on these zip lines, but that's just my personal take. If you learned anything and want to keep updated on Valorant content, smash that sub button. But that's all we got for you today. I'm Coach Mills, and until next time.